Good morning. So, yesterday I was at an, a dog adoption fair. Do any of you have dogs? A few of you. Do any of you have cats? Do any of you have other animals like hamsters, guinea pigs, snakes, fish? Hmm, good, good mixture. Okay. So, I saw this huge dog. He probably came up to here. He looked mean. He had this face that was all wrinkly. He just didn't look very nice at all. But guess what? He was so loving. He loved for people to pet him. He loved for belly straps. He loved to take treats. He would sit. He didn't jump on people at all. He loved people. Even though he looked mean and scary, he was the complete opposite. Sometimes we have things happen in life that seem mean and scary. Like maybe if you guys had gone up to this dog, you're, you're a little bit shorter than I am, so you might have been scared by him just like I was. But then you would find out that he wasn't. Maybe you think back to your first day of school, and maybe you were a little bit nervous walking into your classroom because you didn't know your teacher. And think back to this week on your last day of school, and maybe how excited you were that summer is here, but sad because you're going to miss your teacher and all of your friends in your class, because next year is going to be different. Well, following Jesus is no different than all of that. Sometimes it can be big and scary, like us encountering big dogs that look mean, or us walking into school on the first day, unsure of what's going to happen. And it can also be full of fun and joy, like us leaving school on the last day and getting ready to have a great summer. Jesus did a lot of things that were big and scary, too. He ate with people who weren't well-liked. He made people, the religious leaders during the time, angry at him. And he also even healed people who were really, really sick. And Jesus wants all of us to help people also. Maybe like I'm looking to adopt a dog. Now, I'm not saying that all of you should go out and do that, but there are ways that you can help out and that you can tell people about Jesus, regardless of whether it's scary or whether it's exciting and fun. You guys might be going to some day camps this summer. You might have a chance to do things around the house that you wouldn't normally do. You might be having some fun on some vacations. And maybe in each of those places, you can find a way to tell people about Jesus' love and about kindness and about how to live, even though things might seem a little bit scary. And we're going to talk more about that in Children's Church today. Uh, but for now, I want you to remember that even when things seem big and scary or when things are fun and exciting, Jesus is always with you and loves you and never leaves you alone and helps you get through those things. Okay, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for being with us through the scary and through the fun. Help us to follow you and share you with others. Amen.